Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to guide you through the Novelty Room, a room just dedicated for making Airsoft videos and playing Airsoft. So, right now I'm in the studio and what you don't know is that every time I record something in the studio, I'm standing actually on my bed right here. The background, here we have the Norwich patch wall. Thank you guys for sending in your patches. It's amazing. It's, I think, at least a thousand patches. And I could imagine that it's currently the biggest Airsoft patch collection in the world. If you have a bigger one, send me a picture of it to info.norwich.com because I won't believe it otherwise, because it's, it's big. Uh, right here, I'm hanging the lights because if you have a studio at home, you will know those lights need a lot of space if they're standing around. You always trip over it, you trip over the cables, so that's why they're right here now. Usually they're standing in front of the patch wall, of course, to project some light onto the Norwich studio. Okay, let's start from right to left. Let's make a circle through this room. Here, we already have my guns here on this wall. Now, it's a very small gun collection, but there's a reason for this. I just keep the guns that work very good, very reliable. And yeah, if you want to know more about these guns, I have a video right here, just dedicated to what makes this gun so special and why do they work so reliable, why they shoot so accurate. So let's get started real quick. Here, that's the Norwich SG24. That's currently my gun to go when I go to an airsoft game. Nice gun, love it. And here on top I have the scope cam. Prototype of the M40 A3 stock for the SG24. It's not finished yet, but once it's finished, this will be my stock of choice because I like the idea that I can put the sling mount on the side so it hangs better. Oh god. The Norwich VSA 10. Very old gun, went through a lot of stuff with me, traveled with me the world. A gun I will never give away, I think I will keep it forever because, you know, that's just my gun which, which I started YouTube with. Next one is a gun I don't use a lot, but I still really like it. It's a Polestar M4. Um, it's built in a way that it can make great videos because it doesn't shake, it doesn't vibrate. Shooting really accurate, HP power gun. I think I don't have to say anything. Those, this is an amazing thing. And here we have a gun I never use. I don't even really know why I bought it. Uh, I think I bought it because I was so surprised about the price of this gun. It's 100 bucks and it can shoot 550 FPS. But it definitely has its flaws. It kind of wiggles in all direct. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a Chinese sniper rifle. But for the price, it's decent. Okay, so the guns are hanging right here on this kind of, I would call it, it's similar to a key mode system. So it's modular, I can just change the height of this. And that's how I built this entire storage system right here. But I will talk about this later. Now below the guns, I have my editing station. That's where I spend a lot of time editing my videos. Real quick, let's go from right to left here i have the boring accounting stuff i don't even want to talk about this i hate the paperwork but i still have to do it anyhow here uh, my editing machine that's how i call it it's an asus laptop really old one wasn't expensive at all but it can still edit even if it was cheap and even if it's old it can edit multi-camera four angles in hd 60 fps each camera which is pretty amazing i think for an old laptop like this uh here i have the snowball microphone that's where i make my voiceovers so here we have the storage system it's 16 terabytes big and that's where i store every single video project all the raw data and you know just all the media from Novridge. Uh i have a second one of this it's not a displace you know just in case if this flat burns down for some reason that I still have the data and I back it up, usually every second week. Two screens for editing, not much to say about that, but once you start working with multiple screens, you cannot go back. The more screens, the better. Try it, you will love it. Some speakers, nothing special about that. Here is my travel external hard drive, because of course, if I you know, travel around the world, which happens quite often, I don't wanna bring this beast here. Here I have some cool drawings and the uh, silver play button I received around a year ago. Uh, real quick about this painting, that's um, fan art I got from a girl called Chromeboy. She makes really cool stuff, so if you want to get a painting like this, just contact her. I will leave her Instagram in the video description. Then, let's get to the 
airsoft fashion cabinet. Here I have all the BDUs and my carrying systems. You know, just some lots of, actually not lots of different camos. I know there's a million people out there which have at least 20 different camos. Again, I'm not a collector, I'm just, you know, I'm thinking very functional. So I have one, you know, for more like, I mean, multicam works for pretty much every environment. Then we have something for European forests, which is the Flektan. And some Swedish camo for, for Birgit, the Muslim. I think it's required there, if I remember correctly. Austrian camo and some snow camo. Here on the bottom, I have the shoes that I usually use for playing airsoft. Those are the ones that I use for pickup games. Those are the ones I use for milsims, and those are also the ones I used at the military. If you want to march, you know, like 50 kilometers, you don't want to do it with those anymore. You need some really... You need shoes that support what you're doing. And those are, those are the best. Those are made by Hangwerk. That's a German company. They are quite expensive, but they are amazing. Here in the back, we have some running shoes for morning sport. Nothing special about those. And here on top is just some random stuff where I never know where I should put it. Here we have the last few Norwich BBs, 0.3 gram BBs. And the 0.46 ones, the ones I use are in the gear bag over there, but I will talk about this later. Chronograph, lots of springs from a sniper rifle. You know, as I said, carrying systems, play carriers. Lots of stuff that I don't even use. Ah, that's something special right here. That's a laser system. It's supposed to be the future of airsoft. That's what the manufacturer claims. But I don't really think so. It's a really cool system. You know, once you get hit, those sensors, they detect the hit and you have a laser on your gun. But then, you know, you don't really have the BBs flying past your head and you don't have, you know, shooting coke cans in your backyard. So I don't think that's the future of airsoft. I hope airsoft just stays the way it is. Um, okay. Here on top, I have my organizing system. Now, that's just a month old. And before, this stuff was just lying around everywhere. And I'm pretty sure everybody who owns Airsoft Gear knows about this issue. You know, Airsoft Gear is not something that you can just, you know, put on top of each other. It's everything has a different form, needs different kind of space. For example, guns, you need to hang them. If you don't hang them or you don't have a gun rack, it's just going to be all over the place. So, bro tip, if you're playing airsoft and you have lots of gear, take the time, take one or two days and organize your entire gear, otherwise it's going to be a mess. And you know, it's not really funny if one day before the game, you're like searching in this big chunky out of airsoft gear. Just organize it, trust me, it's worth it. Okay, here we have some Milsim stuff, so, you know, sleeping mat, sleeping bag, tent, another tent and another mat, nothing special right here, mosquito net. And here in the boxes, it always says what's inside. So if I need something, I can just grab the box, pull it down, look inside, swap the stuff in and out. Uh, it's a really cool system. So here, for example, it says grenades. So in here, if I did it right, it should be grenades. Voila. And all like gay smoke grenades some flashbangs and some tornado grenades. Okay, counting stuff, what's inside patches? Actually all the patches should be in the patch wall. Let's see. Oh, those are the fan letters. So when I did the Norwich Packs Exchange, when I did the Norwich Patch Exchange program, everybody sent me, not everybody, but most of the people sent me really cool stuff like a letter where they like my videos, drawing, here for example, of the sniper rifle. Really cool. I really appreciate that you guys took the time to send me stuff like this. I read every single one of those. I'm not finished with all of them yet because it was a thousand letters. But you know, if, uh, if I have some free time, I always grab some fan letters and I read those. So as you can see, oh God, that's millions of them. Here we have a Christmas card with a Santa Claus coming <laughs> from behind the Christmas tree. Great stuff. Put this away again. Uh, okay. I don't want to talk about every single box because I think it's going to be quite boring. But what's also a cool box is this. I call it the giveaway box. And in here is just stuff that I personally don't need because I already have it. But people send it to me and I'm going... Let's just do a giveaway. So 
In this video, you can win, let me see, you can win Marui stickers, you can win those two cool wristbands, you can win And you can win, and here we have a Victorinox knife from the Austrian military. So, how can you win this? How can you win this actually? Okay, put a really cool comment why you need this. Be creative, don't say something like, I want this because, I don't know, I can't afford it or something like this. Put a really creative, cool comment and whoever had the best reason to get this stuff will win it. Can you throw something else in? Just uh, a knife. Yes. Enough. Okay. And additional to this stuff, I will also give away one bottle of Novridge PVs, 0.3 grams, and the last Novridge exchange patch. Actually, I will get another thousand of those, but it will take another few weeks until they arrive. That's the last one from the first patch. And also some other Novridge swag, you know. Those random stickers, patches, and stuff like this. Okay, so much about the giveaway. Let's head on. More boxes. Okay, what's an interesting box? Here we have batteries and chargers. That's my camera box. That's what I use before every single game. Inside here, we have all the chargers for all my cameras. I have this... USB thing here with five ports for charging GoPros, my Mobius cameras, scope cam, all this kind of stuff. This here is just dedicated for batteries, so GoPro batteries, HE batteries, power banks, red dot batteries, all this kind of stuff. And that here, probably the most interesting part, are the cameras, the GoPros and stuff I use for the games. So here we have the Norwich 3D Gilly hat with the GoPro mount, selfie camera, it's actually head camera here. Um, then we have the selfie mount for my for my gun, um, shoulder camera, all this kind of stuff is inside this box. Okay, real quick about those boxes, those are 50 cents and they're from IKEA. Great way to keep your stuff organized and if you don't need them anymore you just burn them or you throw them away. Oh, I'm too short for this. Okay, here we have winter. Okay, you see it's not super convenient. It still works. Here we have my winter box. So that's winter camo in here. White scarf, thermo, clothes. And my favorite, the snow camo hat, which is at the same time a hit marker, which is really cool, I think. Okay, do we have another interesting box here? Yeah, tools. Uh, let's talk about tools. If you're an airsoft player, you will need tools to modify your gun. And the minimum package is, I think, a Letterman, a good quality Letterman, and a Dremel multi-tool. With those two tools, you can do pretty much everything. And of course, you know, you need some oil and supplies like this, but tool-wise, a Dremel and a Letterman and a set of Allen keys, and you can do pretty much everything you need for Airsoft. Now, inside here, you know, multimeter for HE, Soldering tools, screwdrivers, all this kind of stuff. Some files to modify things. But all you really need for airsoft is soldering, multimeter, letterman, and the Dremel. Yes, that's all you need. Okay, and the last interesting box is the sidearm box. Oh. And in here, we have my sidearms. Electric one. For winter, then my old trusty gas blowback Marui Glock with all the marketings by the way, those are really rare. And it says made in Austria. This room is by the way in Austria, so that's really cool. 
and my P09. Made by KG Works, license based, cheap, very reliable, CO2 gas blower pistol. Love it a lot. All right. Oh, now here, that's something very important for organization, for airsoft gear, hang as much stuff as possible. Right here, I have my main backpacks. That's my camera backpack, it's made by LBX. And it's completely filled with Velcro. So if I want to put in there the batteries, for example, which are in here, I can just take the battery and I can just throw them inside. And that's where they stick. So that's a really cool system. You can just organize it with different pockets. If you need it again, just take it off, put it inside here. So that's a very neat organizing system from LBX, which I love. Then, here's just some random day bag, which is nice for Muslims and stuff. My old soft shell for my gun. I'm not using this one anymore, I'm using a hard shell, so it protects my sniper rifle a little better. And here we have my HBA backpack for the M4 with the HBA rig inside. Moving further on, here we have the cameras that I don't use while playing airsoft. So there's third person cameras. Here we have a DJI Phantom 3 drone. Really old drone already, but it just does a perfect job. Really nice brand, love the products. Here we have a Canon 60D. That was the main camera of Norwich for studio stuff, but right now we have a Sony camera, really fancy one. Links to all of the stuff will be in the video description, by the way, if you want to know more about this. Here's the Vlog camera. Why Vlog camera? Because you can flip the screen. So you can see what's going on. That's a Canon G7X, which has a really bad focus, by the way. That's what I hate about this camera. But, you know, I wouldn't buy it, actually. I wouldn't buy it again. And here we have the backup camera for my scope cam, which is, yeah, it went through a lot of stuff. If you look at this, it's fixed with duct tape. Oh, God. This camcorder is really not made for what I'm using it. Going further down from the cameras, here I keep all the small parts like SSG24 spare parts. That's not the actual storage for the SSG24, of course this one is a lot bigger. That's just for, you know, my demands and the demands of a bunch of friends for Sniper Body Falby for example. So some spare mags, then different springs, sling seals, hopper buckings, all this kind of stuff. Again. That's only my personal storage. I don't just own 20 of those magazines. I think I have a few thousands of those. So you don't have to worry about a shortage on Spamex. And here I have my merch drawer right here. So all kind of patches, knowledge patches, the big ones, the small ones, stickers, and all this kind of stuff. Okay, let's move further on. Here we have my personal closet. Nothing special about this. On top I have the Pelican case which I use for air traveling because it's it's a tank. There's no way that your rifle will break inside this case. And it also has the locks for TSA, which is nice. Here's the golden play button. Quick side note to YouTube. Please make it with one hole in the middle because it has two holes on the side and only at one mounting point. And that's why it swivels here like this. Then in this area, that's the area where I go for preparing for games. So this gear bag is filled with the most important stuff. It's also made by LBX and it's really expensive, but once you have one of those, you never ever want to go back to your, I don't know, sport, sport purse or, it's sport purse, it's just in a sport bag. Really expensive one, but once you own one of those, you can't really go back to backpacks anymore because you can really organize this thing. It's kind of like a mobile closet. So it has all these kinds of pockets. Here it has separations side pockets. It's really nice to organize stuff and I always keep the most important stuff inside there which I use for every game and then of course I adapt the gear to you know with the camouflage I have to choose the BDU for the environment and stuff. But it's always filled with the most important stuff which I always use like 0.46 gram BBs and stuff like this. And here on the side I have the gun case of the SG24 so if I go to the game I always bring those two. And I think that's pretty much it. That's the Norwich room. Here is where 
all the videos get started. Here's where I prepare for a game. And let me know how you guys organize your SFK in the comments below. Also, don't forget about the comment for the giveaway. And hope you guys enjoyed the room tour. See you guys next Thursday.